Good morning, darlings. It is 2 p.m. on a Wednesday afternoon. What a random, random time to start a vlog. Um, but I've got a really fun couple of days coming up, so I thought I would vlog it for you. Today has been a bit of a slow starter. I woke up at half seven, which is quite a line for me because Charlie left at 6 a.m. He's on a press trip to Barcelona with ASOS, and I felt very tired, so I went back to sleep again. So a bit of a slow start. And then this morning I've had a bit of a, I don't want to say migraine, migraine is too much, but you know when you just have like a dull continuous headache here, and to be honest it's still there, but I'm currently cooking a mac and cheese, so I'm hoping that that is going to solve all of my problems, but as well as feeling a bit meh, I've also been feeling very inspired, which is a weird combination, but I've been going through all of my YouTube videos and kind of analyzing which ones have performed well in terms of views, in terms of thumbs up, in terms of engagement, and I've noticed a bit of a pattern. So I've just thought up loads of new video ideas based on what it seems that you guys really like to see, and I'm thinking about doing a bit of a series on like tips, so um, like fashion tips but quite themed videos if that makes sense. So I'm not going to give away any of my video ideas just yet but I'm thinking about doing a little series maybe like Tips Tuesdays. I'm not going to call it that because that's a little bit tragic but just doing like a regular maybe weekly fashion video which is really educational let's say. So let me know what your thoughts are on that down below. Yeah so Charlie's away for a couple of nights and so I'm doing a couple of staycations over the next few days. I just worked out really perfectly timing wise because if Charlie was home um, I'd have felt kind of bad doing, <laughs> doing these staycations. They're all in London. So tonight I'm going to a hotel in Shoreditch which is a very cool area of London that actually I don't know that well at all. I've probably only been to Shoreditch like five times in my life and that is with Juicy Couture so very much looking forward to seeing their new fragrance launch and the hotel looks really cool as well so I'll take you along there and then tomorrow night I'm staying at the London Edition which is a hotel that I'm much more familiar with it's the hotel where um, the Berners Tavern restaurant is. It's on Berners Street. I've been for breakfast there a million times. It's so beautiful. But I've never seen inside any of their rooms. And that is an overnight stay with Estee Lauder. So I've got to pack for those two trips because I don't plan on coming home in between, even though I only live 20 minutes away from the London edition. But yeah, I thought I would have a bit of a staycation. I have just found out who's gonna be, what other bloggers are on both of these overnight stays and there's loads of girls that I absolutely love. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna go and get my mac and cheese now. Um, <laughs> this is like a tradition. Firstly, if ever I feel a little bit poorly, mac and cheese, or if Charlie goes away and isn't cooking for me, because to be honest, fair to him, he cooks for me a lot which I'm very very grateful for and he keeps me a lot more healthy I would be probably ha I probably have a lot higher cholesterol level if it wasn't for him but when he's away I've got to put a chair in front of the oven because our oven door is a little bit broken but yeah enough rambling let's eat this mac and cheese <laughs> goodness I'm so excited for this okay so I have a couple of weird not OCD level but like weird things that I'm eating with my mac and cheese I have like food combinations so with certain meals I have to have certain drinks so with my mac and cheese I always have to have Ribena um, other ones like if I have fish and chips or battered sausage and chips from a chip shop I have to have J2 orange and passion fruit um, and then obvious things like in Spain, Spanish food, I have to have rosé, things like that. But yeah, that's one of my weird things. My second one is that I cannot eat with my hair down. There's a lot of things I can't do with my hair down. As you guys probably know from my vlogs, it's normally tied away from my face because it just annoys me so much having it down. So luckily I have hair clips and bobbles scattered all, <coughs> excuse me, all around the house. I've showed you these previously, but they are rose gold hair clips from a brand called Kitsch. And I love them. Okay, so now I'm gonna enjoy 
my mac and cheese, I've got my notebook here ready to do some more notes because I'm going to continue scrolling through YouTube videos for inspo and I'll catch up with you later. Oh my goodness, I feel so lethargic after that mac and cheese. I had to make myself a big coffee, I made myself a latte, um, and now all I want to do is have a nap, but I'm hoping this is going to wake me up. That was a lot of cheese and a lot of pasta, so... While I want to nap, I have to um, get my video ready for tonight. Tonight I'm actually doing a very exciting video because I'll be announcing my meetup here in London. If you haven't seen the video yet, basically I'm having a meetup with Loxtan at the Loxtan flagship store on the 5th of September at 6.30pm, 6.30 till 8.30 and it's going to be really fun. There's going to be lots of like beauty chats, there's going to be macaroons, champagne, I'm taking Dexter and Dickens, so yeah. I will leave a link down below, maybe there will be some tickets left, I'm sure there will be. They're going to be £15, um, which you can then spend that amount in the store, so fully redeemable in the Loxtan store. So very, very exciting. I need to get that video ready to go live, announcing that, um, and also edit my Instagram post, which will also be going live at the same time. So I'll show you how I do my editing, and yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see my screen very clearly, but I'm just going to show you my um, way of editing my Instagram photos and I'm on my laptop. Here I've got my pictures which my photographer sent me, so I'm going to drag all of those into my Lightroom app. Um, sorry, Lightroom desktop version, and no surprises, I'll be using the Fashion Mumbler presets. So now that these are imported, I click on the picture that I want to edit so you can see the picture here, this is totally unedited, this is how it looks, uh, and then what I'm going to do is go to develop, and then down on the side of the screen here is where all the presets are, I'm going to be using my Valencia preset, so I just click on that, so then in one click it takes it to this beautifully brightened and colour corrected picture, so that's how it looks after my preset, and then that's how it looked before. So you can see there's quite a good difference. So you can see it's just overall made it much brighter, much warmer, and that's how I edit my Instagram pictures. I don't really do anything more than that. So then what I do, because I want to see how all of the pictures look with this preset, I just go to develop settings and then copy the settings and then select all the pictures and, and then develop settings, paste. And then in just a few seconds, all of my pictures will be edited, so then I can scroll through and decide. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer for the pictures to edit. There we go. So I'll have a little scroll through and decide which one I'd like to use for my Instagram. Okay, so now I'm going to edit my video for tonight. So this is my creator studio. If you've not seen the back end of YouTube before, this is what it looks like. All my videos are down here. Um, this one, the one called Meetup, is the one that I'm launching tonight. You can see that it's not got a thumbnail or anything. The reason why it's already uploaded is because I had to share this with Loxitan first just so they could check that I got all the messaging correct. So it's already uploaded. So what I'm going to do now is fill out the description box, add in the cards, things like that. So I like to put my videos on, leave them on silent. Um, and then my description box is already populated with the stuff that's in every single video. And then in the featured section, every time I mention a product within the video, I think I'm about to mention a couple of skincare pieces, my tea, I will write them in here. So this normally takes me, it can take a good hour depending on how long the video is. And then I'll do the thumbnail, things like that. So that's what I'm going to get cracking with and I'll catch up with you a little bit later. just arrived at the Curtain in Shoreditch, feeling a little bit carsick because my Uber driver was absolutely mental, playing like Rasta music, full blast. 
so it wasn't a very peaceful <laughs> journey but this room is absolutely gorgeous very kind of shoreditch cool i feel suitably dressed in my leopard print dress annoyingly i think this is sold out but i will leave the dress link down below um i'm gonna give you a little room tour and show you where i'll be spending the night so this is the boudoir area very cool exposed brick wall I thought that was a dog at first, I thought that was a little Frenchy, but actually it looks almost like Banksy style. You've got an army vehicle with a child swinging off it. Um, lots of really cool like chrome fixtures. We've got a little bar cart over here with the ingredients for a dry martini, a very cool Hollywood style mirror, a little fridge down there as well. And then if we turn around, we have got the bathroom. Ooh, I don't think there's a full length mirror anywhere. That's rather annoying, um, so I can't show you my full outfit of the day, but I've been wearing this dress, as you've seen, with my JW Anderson bag and my Valentino heels, and I feel like this is going to be a real go-to outfit combination. So yeah, really nice kind of vanity area here, and then we've got a huge shower, which I'm very much looking forward to using later. And that's it, so that's my lovely little room. So I am now going to quickly get changed and meet the girls downstairs. Okay, so I am pretty much ready to go after curling my hair and putting on my favourite Reese dress, I haven't worn this in a little while, um, just put some curls through the bottom of my hair with my GHDs and I'm taking again my JW Anderson bag, I was going to take my Chloe bag but this fits <clears throat> excuse me, more inside, maybe I should take out the dog poo bags, probably won't be needing those this evening and I'm still wearing my Valentino sandals so this is my outfit of the evening, see you later! So last night's party was great fun, had a lovely time catching up with the girlies and got to bed at about midnight. It is about 9 o'clock in the morning now, I've just been upstairs for breakfast. I thought I would show you the new Juicy Couture fragrance, seeing as I just showed you a very brief shot last night. So this is the new perfume, per perfume? Perfume from Juicy Couture, it is called We, oui, as in French for yes. And the campaign they showed, um, the campaign imagery and video last night, it's all about, it's for the modern consumer, so the modern Juicy Couture consumer, obviously we all know Juicy Couture for the fabulous tracksuits, um, and the brand has had a bit of a fashion revival lately, so it's really coming back with a bang, so it's appealing to a younger, like modern millennial consumer, and that's what this has been designed for. So the fragrance itself is very kind of punchy, very, it's playful, but also very juicy couture still. The whole campaign is about saying we, oui, saying yes to living your boldest life, living your most fearless life, um, and it was all about the power of we, oui, which is a really, really lovely message. Um, the bottle is really cool as well. It's these two different glass colour blocks. You've got a very fiery red and then a beautiful pink colour and kind of like a gangster chain with we at the top there, very very cool. And as you guys know, I've loved all of the Juicy Couture fragrances so far. The Viva La Juicy Rosé has probably been my favourite one so far. But this is just a little bit more mature. It's also got like a flower at the top there, very very cute. Um, what does it say about the notes? It's got honeysuckle, it's got a complex woody finish with amber resin, warmth of musks, it's got some watermelon accords, which reminds me the watermelon cocktails last night were 
so good. But now it's time for me to check out. I've got a couple of meetings today. My first meeting is at Faya Cafe, which is a super Instagrammable cafe. So I will take you along to that. So let's get going. Instagrammable breakfast in London. Cute, 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 cute. It is currently torrential, is an understatement, in London. And I'm wearing my Valentino sandals. This is not a good day. I'm heading towards Primark and I'm gonna go and buy some wellies, hopefully absolutely disgusting. I've just had a couple of meetings um, and then as soon as possible I'm going to head back to Berners Tavern where I'm staying later on and have that as my little office, my little haven. Um, but first of all I need to grab some lunch and buy myself some wellies. That's oh, so disgusting. My next meeting is here in Selfridges with the Galang girls. Um, I've got about 45 minutes to kill though, so naturally I'm up on the third floor looking at all the lovely brands. Just spotted some gorgeous new pieces in Ted Baker, so I'm definitely going to have to check out their website. Um, currently thinking of Sunny and Places by shopping and hanging around in the swimwear department though. I can't resist a beautiful swimsuit, so let's have a little look around. Just come across a rail of clothing from this brand, and it's all like fitness wear looks absolutely beautiful i've never actually heard of it before but they seem to have some really really nice designs we've got some lovely little white leggings these blush pink ones which naturally i'm very drawn to and some floral ones as well but yeah i've not tried this one before so if anyone's heard of it and heard good or bad things let me know because it looks rather gorgeous so I've come down a level to floor two and I'm making a beeline for the Chloe concession. I cannot afford anything from here, however I like to just look at the kind of styles that they've got so that when I'm shopping on the high street I know the kind of things to look out for. So definitely brown peg leg trousers with a lace top. That is not dissimilar to my Reese shirt dress. So maybe I could pair that with something a little bit more autumnal underneath. It's a nice little layering idea. The thing that I absolutely love that I've seen in Harrods is this dress and I am majorly on the lookout for a high street version because it's just absolutely gorgeous but probably around three thousand pounds so not quite for me I am feeling very naughty I found myself at Lola's Cupcakes I'm definitely gonna get a red velvet um, milkshake because it's rainy and dull and I need something to lift my spirits <laughs> to the Galan counter in John Lewis and they are running a very exciting new initiative. They're being a lot more sustainable, they're reducing a lot of their packaging um, and they are doing a recycling initiative in the store. So let me show you this little area over here. This is the Galan counter and behind me here is a little recycling box and you can bring your old um, terracotta bronzers, you know these which I'm always raving about, drop it into the box. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you do so you get a £10 voucher to spend on your favourite Galan product so when you went if you've got any of these lying around at home the fabulous terracotta bronzers which you've used up over the summer to get your beautiful glow then just bring them into Galan counter in John Lewis pop them in your box and then using hashtag Galan recycle they will give you a £10 voucher so generous such a good idea and now that I've done my recycling, it's time to pick up a new product. I'm probably going to go for a top-up of my terracotta um, handbag foundation, which I have in my bag because I've been using this pretty much every single day and it's just the most amazing coverage, luminosity, etc, etc. So I think that's what I'm going to treat myself to. Okay, boy am I happy to be sat down and in a safe environment. I feel like today, you know how they say that everything 
bad happens in threes. None of these things are really bad, but I've just had like one of those days where everything goes wrong, whether that's meeting people in the wrong place or going out without my purse. I showed you a clip of my shoes getting absolutely drenched. Um, and yes, they are my Valentino shoes. So I went into Primark, queued up for 20 minutes at the till, having found a fairly affordable pair of boots. And then when I got to the till, after three minutes of rummaging around in my handbag, I realized I did not have my purse with me. So that was really a waste of time and very embarrassing. Then I went to meet a PR in a store and I realized after 20 minutes of wandering around waiting for her that I got the wrong store. So I basically left her waiting. And then the same thing happened just now with Galan. You saw I was at Galan in John Lewis and I thought I was meant to be meeting them in Selfridges. So I've just been a bit of a, Bit of a mess today but things are about to turn around because um obviously i had a really nice time at the galang counter and now i am at the london edition hotel it is i was here this morning for a couple of meetings but this is my first time actually staying the night here which is very very lovely i'm here tonight with estee lauder it's been perfect timing with charlie being away on my two little staycations in london but tonight yeah we are staying with estee lauder there is a dinner later on at the saatchi gallery and i thought i'd do a little room tour for you Okay, so this is the boudoir and there are a few lovely goodies waiting here for me. There's this beautiful selection of flowers. I'm going to have to check if there's any water in here. If not, I'm going to have to put some water in because they're so beautiful. I definitely want to take these home with me. For some pampering tonight, they've left a an advanced night repair face mask, which I love, and then also a personalised bottle of the advanced night repair um, recovery serum which I use pretty much every single evening at home so that's amazing to have a top up and a personalized one and then here on the bed alongside a very snugly looking um, faux fur throw we've got I think this is the new launch we've got a little note it's a new advanced night repair eye cream and this helps to fight the impact of lack of sleep pollution blue light and it's and the hashtag they're using this evening is are you seeing blue Okay, here we go. This is what we are here for. So this is the new um, Advanced Night Repair Eye with 10 times concentrated technology. So this is an eye cream that's going to hopefully get rid of any signs of tiredness. And obviously our eyes, I feel like, are the quickest place to age, especially if you live in a city, pollution, looking at screens all day. Like, let's be honest, if you're watching this, you're looking at a screen right now and that is not doing any favours to your eyes. I've tried the Advanced Night Repair Eye Serum before, um, the eye cream before. There we go, just took the lid off and I'm a huge fan. Ooh la la, there we go. Consistency wise, it looks pretty similar. So I'll be applying some of this before heading downstairs to get my makeup done by the Estee Lauder team ahead of tonight's dinner. But that's not all they've left in the room. There's also the itinerary for the evening. So this is just giving a little bit of information as to what we're doing. And then if I take you through here, into this beautiful bathroom. There's also a few more products here waiting for me. Some favorites they've put in the recovery capsules. These are like little pods, you can see them in there, um, which you burst onto the skin, filled with the advanced night repair. This is the mask in oil. If you're a fan of oil consistencies, like I very much am, then you'll love this. This is the Micro Essence. I think you apply this after cleansing. This is the cleansing balm, which is just so luxurious. Hello, huge fan of this. And then the best of the best, these are the eye masks. So yes, I'm definitely gonna have a little bit of a pamper session. Um, I'm gonna pop these on while I do my emails because I have a little bit of work to catch up on. And I will chat to you when I'm getting my makeup done. Just about to do a little Instagram flat lay with these beautiful flowers, which thankfully did come in a vase and the new eye serum and the dress that I'm wearing tonight and my lipstick and how funny is this? This is my insatiable ivory, basically my favorite lipstick probably ever and this is how much I have left. I'm down to the very, very last little bit and I'm determined to use it right till the very end. So that's what I'll be wearing tonight but now it's time to go get my makeup done properly by the Estee Lauder team. So let's go. So lip colour, do you want something? I haven't got insatiable ivory, but I've got some very, very similar ones. Yes. Just kind of go, yeah. More like this kind of colour again. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So I'll find out for a second. I've got numbers on here.
so I've just got back from having my makeup done and I have to say Oh my goodness, it is so nice when the makeup artist actually listens to what you would like. I said, look, I don't want anything that's really unlike me. I normally go for a really light base and a soft eye look. I don't really like eyeliner and I like a very natural pink lip. And that is exactly what I have got, which if you've ever had your makeup done professionally before, you may know is quite rare to actually look like yourself after a makeup experience. So the lovely Emma from Estee Lauder used Double Wear Light, uh, which is the lightest of the Double Wear family of foundations. And then she just touched up any areas of redness with the concealer. We've got um, a beautiful kind of like bronzy brown on the eyes, no eyeliner, just a darker brown shade smudged into the lash line. And then I've got Oh, I cannot remember the shade of the Pure Colour Envy on my lips, but I'm going to be having a coffee and brushing my teeth, so I will be topping up with my favourite um, Insatiable Ivory. She also used the new Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream on my eyes as a little bit of a base before putting on the makeup, and she was telling me that it's all really focused on helping the skin to fight the signs of ageing caused by blue light. So obviously we're all on our phones and on our laptops and watching TV before bed, and that combined with stress, tiredness, pollution just makes our eyes age so much more. I think they, they said that like 85% of us are on our phones just before bed and I know that I definitely am and obviously when we're asleep that's when our skin does all its recovering so it's really good to have an eye cream that specifically helps to target the problems that we are imposing on ourselves. So really looking forward to sleeping, sleeping with it tonight. Um, but now I'm going to enjoy my coffee, I'm going to get changed, do my hair because obviously I did curl it last night Oh, um, but it's since then been rained on, so time to redo that, and I will see you when I'm ready. Do you not do this? No. It stops you getting eye bags. Okay. So, so if I slip my camera the other way up, I get really bad eye bags. So if you tip <laughs> it the other way around, then you don't. Okay, so I don't get eye bags, but um, I actually look, my face looks brighter if I look up. So I always have okay. the uh, yes, you the mind from the upside. This is, oh, this is just very strange. Hi. That's you normal. <laughs> that's, that's your way. This is my <laughs> way. It's very disconcerting. It must be very confusing for everybody watching this. <laughs> You have no idea what we're talking about. You have no clue. Is it this the right street? Yes. Susie keeps street. lying to me over which street we're going up, and I've been. Susie walking. is wearing very impractical heels, show whereas them. I am wearing. I mean, oh, they're no, spectacular, so but mine are much more practical. Hashtag just saying. They are, and they're very, very cute as well. Exactly. Very, trying to convert Susie to the Valentino <laughs> life. We're nearly at the hotel. We're going to order mac and cheese. Still, so see you later. <laughs> We have safely arrived into our boudoir and we've got a very healthy evening meal of a plain shack burger, cheesy fries, um, Susie's got, I don't remember what that is, it's fries with something else on it, and burger. You're blurry but it's okay, it's romantic. <laughs> okay, so I'm back in my room now. I feel like my previous vlogging may not have made much sense because I was very jolly after a lovely dinner and drinks with the Estee Lauder gang. Um, and then obviously 
burger and mac and cheese with Susie. I'm now back in my room after a lovely evening and I'm gonna take my makeup off. I'm gonna start with a micellar water and then I'm gonna be doing a full advanced night repair evening routine. We have a little note by our beds as well and it says that looking at electronic screens three hours before bed can desynchronize your skin's natural repair cycle. So they invite us to switch off with advanced night repair and thank you for joining us this evening. We hope you have a restful night's sleep. So I think we are all guilty of um, using our phones just before bed, but the effect that that has on our skin can be so, so damaging. So this whole range, as we learned this evening, is about fighting that and helping the skin to protect itself from stress, fatigue, and blue light. Okay, so I've used my micellar water. And now, I don't believe I've actually used this before, but as it's in my room, it seems like a perfect opportunity to try it. This is the Advanced Nights Micro Cleansing Balm. I'm a big fan of cleansing balms. Ooh, I find them very luxurious. It looks like this. Let's give it a go. Oh, it's thick. And it's very, very thick. Like lard. But luxurious lard. <laughs> oh my God, that smells divine. I think this is lavender and chamomile. So very good for before bed. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I'm a big fan of facial massage. Not that I can be bothered to do a full facial massage right now, but this would be perfect for it. Oh, I didn't check if I have a funnel. Oh no. Oh no. I do want to have a flannel. Oh, I do. We got a flannel. It's all good. So this is just helping to dissolve the makeup, um, cleanse the skin, and it's just totally luxurious. Watch you baby, I'm gonna watch you And this is why you should always double cleanse because there is always so much more left on your skin than you think there is. Okay, so skin is feeling lovely and cleansed and soft and now I'm going to apply my serums, etc. Now, if anybody knows the correct order, please feel free to correct me. But what I like to do is start with my eye cream. So I'm gonna start with the new Advanced Night Repair Eye. This is what tonight is all about. And this is obviously gonna help um, and the eye area is an area where I am already concerned with signs of aging. Obviously I have, oh, obviously, I have a couple of fine lines that are probably as a result of fatigue, a little bit of stress, a little bit of pollution, and blue light of course. I'm in front of a computer probably like 12 hours a day. So um, this helps the skin to fight against the negative effects of that. So I'm just gonna tap that in. I just used an amount the size of a grain of rice. Next, I'm gonna apply my Advanced Night Repair Serum, and my personalized one. This I've been using, I think, about three years, I would say. I put maybe four drops into my hand. Um, yeah, and I just love this. I feel like it's a really good start to your evening skincare. It's prepares the skin for the products you're going to put on next. It helps with aging, um, just helps the skin to kind of be balanced, I guess. Like I've not really had skin problems since using this. It helps even out hydration, um, it helps the signs of aging and it sinks in really quickly, which to me is a sign that my skin is like drinking it in. Then I'm going to apply my capsules. Now at home, um, I ran out of these about eight months ago and since then I've been using an Elemis night cream but this no doubt is going to reinvigorate my love for these capsules because they're like a silky oil consistency and they feel so good, so good and they smell amazing. Oh, 
oh my goodness and then as i said so at home i would normally put on a moisturizer but i'm going to do a full a n r routine tonight so this is the oil in is it called the oil in mask mask in oil and if your skin is a little bit dehydrated or a little bit too oily then an oil actually really helps the skin to become more balanced and it's really great for dehydration so at this time of year the skin will just drink it in give you a beautiful glow and it feels amazing oh my goodness and obviously as these products are all part of the advanced night repair collection they work perfectly together mm -mm -mm. okay so that is my evening skincare routine done um oh we have some goodies on the bed we've got a slip i think this is a silk pillowcase very nice oh is this a breakfast menu I think this might be a breakfast menu. Place your order on your doorknob <laughs> um, before 3 a.m. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get into bed now. It is one o'clock in the morning. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, darlings. It is now Friday morning. As you can see, I'm no longer at the edition. I'm actually at Topshop. I've got a personal shopping appointment this morning and I'm gonna hopefully find some new pieces for autumn winter. I can't even think about it yet though. It's quite nice and sunny today. Um, but yeah, so as you probably know, I work with Topshop as like a Topshop ambassador, which is amazing because it's my favorite shop. And as part of that, I get to do a personal shopping appointment once every three months. So that is today. So I've challenged the shoppers to find some pieces that are suitable to wear now, but also very on trend for autumn winter. So I thought I would show you what we picked up and do a little try on session with you but I've only got about half an hour so we'll just whiz through a few of my favorite pieces. So these are the bits that she's picked out. I see lots of textures. This is very kind of clueless mustard color. Gonna be huge in autumn winter. Got some nice chunky knits, a lot of pastel colored faux fur which I'm very excited about. Love this shade. Got some denim, we've got some darker colors. Um, this is very Cher Horowitz clueless style. Love the look of this. Crop jumpers are gonna be big this season. Paper bag trousers, we've got some nice casual knits. Also, um, I've got this dress in a size 6 because the one I've got at the moment is a size 8 So I might put my size 8 one that obviously I have worn a couple of times on Depop or something like that um, Maybe just drop me a message if you want to buy it and you can't find it online So I'm gonna buy the 6 and sell my 8 um, This little outfit I actually picked up on the shop floor because do you remember yesterday when I was in Selfridges looking at the Chloe stand? I think this is a very Chloe look, but obviously a lot more affordable. So I'm gonna give that a go um, ooh, oh, I, <laughs> I just picked this up and now I'm like, ooh, it's so pretty. This is a little dressing gown with some lacy detail, which is just a really nice summer dressing gown. And then this I was just intrigued by. It's like a big corduroy bomber jacket, but beautiful color, looks very cozy. I thought the color would be rather fab and very cozy for walking the dogs, etc., etc. Actually, let's just, let's give this a try. I look and feel like a marshmallow. Okay, so here's my Chloe-inspired look. I've got this beautiful blouse on, which I'm definitely gonna get. It's got some really lovely detail on the buttons, like, if I show you here, it's probably a little bit easier. This beautiful kind of embellished pearl button, which is very nice detail. And then on the collar, if it wants to focus, collar and cuffs, you've got this really nice ruffle detail, which is the kind of detail you'd expect on a designer piece, but this is probably around 30 pounds. I'll double check the price in a second. And then this color I think is gonna be huge this autumn winter, um, but also a really nice transitional piece because this material is really light. Collots in general, I just absolutely love. So this is a winning outfit to transition from summer to autumn. I've also just paired this little cropped jumper with the culottes, a way to make the outfit a bit warmer when it gets a bit chillier. And then also this little leopard print bag. I think I mentioned earlier in the vlog how animal prints are just going to be huge next season. So this is a really nice um, way of ticking two trends off the list. We've ticked off the bucket bag trend and the animal print trend, and it's only £29, which is amazing. I will leave all of these Topshop pieces that I'm trying on linked down below, as you can imagine. Uh, so just check the description box for direct links for these. But yeah, really like this jumper. It's also got a very similar arm detail. It's quite a small detail, but this little tuck here was also seen on the Chloe jumpers that I saw in Selfridges yesterday. Another nice little summer to autumn outfit. Okay, here's the next look, and a lot of you will be thinking, oh my god, Josie's wearing jeans. Josie never wears jeans. But these are an exception. These are really, really nice. So 
I'm not sure about the whole look altogether, um, but I like certain elements of it. I love the gilet. I always love a fur gilet in autumn, and this one I think looks really kind of high-end. It's got little speckles in it. It's obviously faux fur, um, and I think it's £49. I like the idea of the top underneath, the brown um, polka dot, but I just don't love this top. It's a bit of a... I don't know. It would look really cool on some people, but it doesn't... It's not very me. The jeans... Actually, I feel like they look more flattering, a lot more flattering in real life than they do on the camera. Um, so they're quite high-waisted. They probably look quite nice with a crop top. The boots, I really like them off, but I don't know if I like them on. They are a really cool, like, deep brown alligator um, with an amazing heel. It's lovely and high, and it's quite a thick heel, so it's pretty easy to walk in and then the toe shape is rounded which um is apparently the shape of the season along with square toe but yeah i just don't know how i feel about them i'm not sure if it's maybe because the trousers are cropped but i just i love looking at them from afar but on i don't love them so much so i'm not sure i might i don't know i might pass on the boots even though i love them so i've just popped on another top i actually already have this top but i just wanted to put something else on with the jeans Oh, I'm actually struggling with them. I feel like you need uh, maybe sandals. I like these boots again, but I don't really like them together. They are a burnt orange, very thick, chunky heel, and then they just go up to there. Um, I like how tight they are around the leg, though. They're quite flattering in that respect. But I just don't know what I'd style these two with. I feel like I've forgotten how to style jeans. I know for so many people, jeans are like an absolute wardrobe essential, but I feel like I've totally forgotten how to style them. Probably obviously like tuck this in, maybe with my Valentinos, I don't know. Why have I forgotten the basics of how to dress myself? All right, so because I've got a 10.30 meeting, I'm gonna have to cut this appointment short, but I am happy with my selection. I think this gilet, I'm wearing it with my Reese dress that I was wearing earlier, um, and my Reese little mules, but this gilet I think is a really good piece for transitioning some summer favorites into autumnal pieces. Obviously with dresses like this, look how bloated I am. Um, obviously with dresses like this, it works really nicely just to add a bit more body warmth, and I thought that the gilet also with this will look really, really nice. So those are my selects. Now it's time to head to the till. Oh, and one more thing. Um, I get a lot of questions about these sunglasses. These are Valentino and I wear them pretty much every day. Absolutely love them. They're very classic. And I don't think they're sold anymore. So I found these here in Topshop. They're almost like a lip kiss kind of shape but I thought these are really good alternatives so I'm gonna pick those up as well 18 pounds not bad just gonna finish my tea and then head to the till okay so I've done my shopping and I'm back at Hey cafe cutest place for breakfast and I'm gonna order I've got a meeting um, I'm gonna order something a little bit strange the I'm going to try the Agua Algae Latte because it sounds very odd and I'm intrigued. And then I'm also going to try the Rose Avo Toast because it looks beautiful. Breakfast is served. Here's the Rose Avo. I've got a little Agua, Agua Matcha Algae something or other. Jess has got pancakes and a cooler. Looks good. Hey darlings, I'm back home again now. I'm not actually too sure what the last thing I filmed was, but it might have been my breakfast meeting at Faya Cafe. I had the rose avocado on toast and it was amazing. So I'm back home now. I've got a lot of work to crack on with and I've just been to Doddle, got some vlog mail, so I'm gonna be unboxing that. Um, and then I'm gonna have a little like chill on the sofa. Charlie's due home at four. So I think I'm just gonna watch some YouTube and do a little bit more video planning and i think this vlog is long enough so i'm going to bid you farewell say thank you for watching and this is the end everything that i've mentioned will be linked down below um and also in case you missed it in my last vlog because i think this is so amazing um my dentist that i'm getting my visline through is running a competition where you can win a 50 thousand pound smile makeover and all you've got to do is follow him on instagram and like mention a hashtag so i'll leave the info for that down below not sponsored but it's so insane that he's giving that away. Um, so if you want free Invisalign or free whitening or anything like that, then it's worth entering because 
yeah, it's just for my followers. So, incredible. Okay, so I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon. And thumbs up and subscribe. And goodbye.